Good morning. Today we have with us Madison O'Hare, who's a 2020 graduate from Space Coast, and she's come to visit us today, ironically, on Mission Monday, and you see her shirt. She just, when did you graduate from boot camp? I graduated from boot camp in February, about middle of February. About middle of February. You went into boot camp when? Uh, December 9th. December 9th. Yes. So you graduated in May. Yes. And then you waited to go into the military in December. Yes. And what was the reasoning for the wait? Um, for the program that they accepted me into, I just the timing, they said that I couldn't go until December, so I just took a little break from school, tried to spend time with my friends and family, you know, before I left, because I knew that I'd be gone for a while, so they had me leaving December. Um, I arrived at my first command in February um, the 21st, and then I've been in Charleston, South Carolina since then. So you have been in Charleston, South Carolina since yes. then because you have been... I've been at um, Nuclear Power Training Command. I've been um, training in A school right now. I just graduated A school um, on August 27th of this year. I'm now electrician's mate um, on nuclear submarines or aircraft carriers, whichever one they send me to. And then I will go back there after my leave. I will do another six months of power school where they teach me how to work on the reactors. And then after that, I will go to a prototype school where I will work on a submarine, do some shift work, get qualified in everything I need to get qualified in, and then they will send me out under the water. Right, and now how did you, what, for instance, like right now your pay is an E, you're getting paid as an E4, right? Yes, I just advanced from E3 to E4 uh, to E4, last week. which is very good pay, especially at someone your age. And then you're saying if you re-enlist, Yes, they my, are going to give you a hundred thousand dollar bonus. Yes. So my sign on bonus to join the new program, it was forty thousand um, dollars. I get a third of that, which will be about twelve, thirteen thousand um, after my second school, which will be next April. I'll get a third of that after I finish my third school. I will get the rest of my bonus. And then after two years of being in, I can uh, sign a reenlistment contract, which will add two years onto my total contract, a total for eight years. And they give me a hundred thousand dollar reenlistment bonus, uh, fifty percent of that up front, and then the other fifty percent will be paid in increments over the following years. Okay, that's amazing. Now I know what a lot of kids are going to want to ask you is, how did you enlist? Where did you get the information? What did you have to do to qualify to enlist? Um, so I kind of was just at work one day and there's a recruiter's office like right down the street from me. So I walked over there one day on break and I started talking to them a bit. They, the first thing they said was, all right, you need to take the ASVAB. They're like, that's the first thing you need to see where you stand, uh, academically, where your strong suits are. So I went and took the ASVAB and I scored a 91 on it. So they had me take another test to see if I qualified for nuke. Um, and I did, and that's whenever they basically said, this is the highest enlistment bonus that you can get with it and they I got a little bit of an insight I talked to some people up at MEPS in Jacksonville um, and I had to have my high school diploma um, that was pretty much a high school diploma and my ASVAB score so I had those two things I do have some college done but it didn't really matter at that time uh, they just wanted to check and make sure that, that I high school diploma yeah. was the most important thing high school diploma made sure they had to check a few of my grades in like my math class um, because of your you know, the job the that you were doing yeah, not every um, job that you go into will need that um, they'll just check and see like what you did best on on the ASVAB right. to help you find a good um, job for you but yeah they did that I went up to MEPS they signed me up and then they shipped me off and, and then here we, so are. Now, yep, here we are well we are so proud of you we are blessed to call you a Viper once a Viper always a Viper yes. thank you thank you